Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here, and this is the 11th video of the Java 2D platformer series. Now, I haven't uploaded in a while because of baseball, so I've been really busy, and I'm sorry for that, but I have an off day today, so I'm going to try to get out a couple videos and try to get some work on the platformer. So let's just start off from where we left off. Um, so the latest problem we had was that the map files were reading in, and if I put zero a zero on the top column or top row, um, that if if I did that that it would um, make all of the blocks below it zero as well. So this was actually a simple fix. This string line definition needs to be in here because it was only reading the line of the file, the first line, and not reading it over and over and over. So it was only taking the first line and using that for every single line. So now that we have that fixed, we can see that it works, um, but we still don't have no collisions for a, an air block. So to do this, we're going to go into the block class, and we're going to create some getters and setters. Now what these do is they allow us to get and set private variables that are only accessible by the class itself. So the first one will be a public void set ID and it's going to take in an integer ID and it'll set this dot ID equal to ID. So that's if we want to change the ID of a block, which we probably won't do very often, but it might come in ha handy, we don't know. And the next one will be a public int get ID. Now what this is going to do is it's just going to return ID so we can use that ID value in another class. Now that we have that, we're going to go to this player class and in here Above all of the collisions, we're going to create a new if statement, and it's going to say if b i j, so the block that we are currently looping on, dot get id does not equal zero, then we're going to actually use it. But if it equals zero, we know that it's not going to have a collision with this. Um, it's not going to have a collision, so we close it around this. So now, if the block is an air block, it won't even loop through these collisions. And we can see here that the player will fall through. Yeah. And we have a bit of a problem that I'm about to fix. So you can see here, when we kind of, when we do this right collision, it kind of hops up. Now the problem with that is that the bottom collision we need to go to the bottom collision and go down to this second point and just on this x offset we gotta subtract two so it was making a bottom collision on the right side because the bottom of it was the bottom point was was actually too close so we shouldn't have any more problems with that and while we're at it why not fix this right collision here we're having a top collision. Um, we'll just subtract two off of that there, and hopefully that'll work. There we go. All right, so yeah, subtr make it to subtract two on this top collision here. So now that we've done that, we can basically create maps however we want. They're very flexible now, so you can change the height and the width. Um, and it will only read that. So if we have the width at five or four, like we have, or the height at four, it won't read any of this. So you can type whatever you want. If you wanted to put notes in about the map, that is fine. Um, the buffered reader will not read that because we set it to read this height and width. So with that, we are going to be done with this tutorial. But I'm going to make another one, and in that one we're gonna add images so we're gonna get like a block sort of image 
So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you next time.